Hello students, now we are going to see the uh, third heuristic for the tally assessment problem which is a twice and around the tree algorithm. So here what happens is you have to find first a minimum spanning tree and then reduce it to a tour or transform it to a tour basically. So first again I will give you the edge weights, you have to sort it like this. Then consider the minimum spanning tree, you could use Kruskal's algorithm which is quite simple. Uh, let's do that quickly so that you can have this as a solution how to do it all right so um, so the first vertex is v2 v6 uh, edge so let's do so this is going to be v2 and then you're going to have v6 that's an edge then v1 to v3 so we can have that And let me have V2 to V5. V2 to V5, that's possible to be added. That's the edge. And V1 to V6. right and v2 to v4 that could be done we are here constructing a tree right so yes so let me move it here so that is v2 to v4 as long as we don't have cycle that should be fine so this is a minimum spanning tree for us using the crust curves algorithm. All right. So that's the same tree I have here, slightly reorganized, um, the same edges, but just to look at more formal. All right. Let's now. The second step is once you construct a minimum spanning tree, uh, you have to uh, do a depth first search traversal of the minimum spanning tree to get a two that starts with one vertex, goes around all the vertices and ends with the starting vertex. Now first with the depth first search you may go through a vertex more than once and then we have to optimize it using the triangle inequality. So let's do the depth first search. So this is the same minimum spanning tree we found in the, la previous, in the, in the uh, last iteration step. Uh, so let's start with V1, go to V3, that's this thing and then you cannot do anything further go further so backtrack to v1 that is what we do in depth first search then go to v6 go down further to v2 and then go down further to v4 then backtrack to v2 then go to v5 backtrack to v2 then go to uh, v6 back to v6 and then back to v1 so this is a tour uh, starting at v1 and ending at v1 so that's what I have written here so now we want to do what is called optimize the DFS walk. So we cannot call it as a tour in the strict sense because a tour ha has to have, have go through each vertex exactly once. So we can call it as a walk, um, which like a tour starts and ends the same vertex, but goes through could go through a vertex, intermediate vertex more than once. So now we have to optimize it. We are going to use triangle inequality for that. What does the triangle inequality say? The sum of if you have three sides of a triangle, uh, let me show it like this. If you have <coughs> a triangle with three sides, something like this. So you have A, then you have B and uh, let's say C 
what does triangle inequality say the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side okay and this is for in a euclidean plane and everything we are working on is an euclidean plane so if you add any two sides of the triangle it is going to be greater than the third side so you start with v1 go to v3 that's the first time visiting v3 so we'll leave v3 to be there but you're already visited v1 because you started there so you cannot go through v1 again and this is the first time you are seeing going to v6 so we'll try to retain this v6 here but connect v3 and v6 so the sum the edge weight v3 and v6 is going to be less than the sum of the two edge weights v3 v1 and v1 v6 right so the sum of these two edge weights v3 to v1 plus v1 to v6 is going to be greater than the edge weight v3 to v6 then we go to v2 it's for here for the first time so we retain it and then we go to v4 that's for the first time then go to v2 it's already visited so we have to bypass it and then we go to v5 that's there for the first time so now we can go from v4 to v5 by passing v2 so the sum of the edge weights v4 to v2 and v2 to v5 is greater than v4 to v5 then we go from v5 to v2 it's there already so we have to bypass it v2 v6 v6 has to be bypassed because it is already there so we go from v5 to v1 to this edge v5 to v1 so sum of the edge weights v5 to v2 plus v2 to v6 plus v6 to v1 is going to be greater than from v5 to v1 so the optimized tour is basically v1 to v3 v3 to v6 v6 to v2 v2 to v4 v4 to v5 and v5 to v1 right and uh, that's what we have here okay and we can reduce it further if you want using two change heuristic so now what we want to prove here is this is the question uh the approximation ratio so what we have is uh, we have from step one we found a minimum spanning tree step two is do a dfs on the mst and get a um, walk and step three is optimize the dfs walk to get a two right so um when we do a depth first search if you notice this we are traversing the edges on the minimum spanning tree exactly twice when we do a depth first search so the weight of the um, dfs walk would be what twice the weight of the minimum spanning tree and in step three we are all trying to do is reduce the weight of the walk right so the weight of the two that you're going to get from the heuristic is going to be less than or equal to the weight of the dfs walk so all we are trying to do is reduce its weight further so which means the weight of the two uh let me just say to h from the heuristic is going to be less than or equal to two times the weight of the minimum spanning tree right now um, you should notice that the weight of the optimal tour the tour for which you want to find the lowest weight we don't know that because it's an incomplete problem but let's say this is optimum now i'm going to say it's going to be greater than the weight of the minimum spanning tree why if the weight of the optimal tour with n vertices and n edges because you know a tour has n vertices and n edges right is less than or equal to a minimum spanning tree on the same n vertices with n minus one edges then we can better replace the weight of the optimal tour uh, replace the uh, minimum spanning tree 
put the optimal tour because you know the optimal tour has n edges so you can even remove one edge from the optimal tour and make its weight to be even less than the weight of the optimal tour right so then the msd that we determined is no longer an msd this is a contradiction right so which means uh, the weight of the optimal tour or the weight of the MSD has to be less than the weight of the optimal tour, which I call it as uh, tour opt, right? So the weight of the op MSD has to be less than, this is what I've rewritten in this way, uh, the weight of the optimal tour or the optimal tour has to weigh more than the MSD. So now we know from this <clears throat> um, we, what we know from this the weight of the we do weight of the two from the heuristic is less than or equal to two times the weight of the MSD and we know the weight of the MSD is strictly less than the weight of the two uh, optimal two. So it's going to be strictly less than two times the weight of the optimal two. Right? Uh, clear. So I'm going to just replace this with this relationship less than. So this is going to be less than two times. This two is there still the weight of the optimal two. Right? So which means the weight of the heuristic 2 divided by the weight of the optimal tour is going to be less than 2 right so which means for example in this case I found the weight of my uh, tour which came to be 31 and then I reduced it for using 2 change heuristic the weight of the tour I got from this heuristic is 26 right so since I got this relationship now 26 is the weight of my heuristic uh, based tour and the weight of the tour which I don't know optimal is so this ratio this is called the approximation ratio I know it's going to be what less than 2 the approximation ratio the whole thing is less than 2 so the weight of the tour optimum is going to be what greater than 26 over 2 so the weight of the tour optimum is going to be greater than 13 right so the weight of the tour optimum is going to be greater than 13 so we can say for sure that the optimal tour has to be above 13 even though we cannot say what is its exact weight we know it has to weigh above 13 okay for this graph so this is where you have to stop with your proof uh, you can do all these things and then you can stop with your proof, alright?